In the previous lesson, we learned that we can find the probability of an event using the ratio number of favorable outcomes over total number of outcomes. For example, using the given spinner, the probability of spinning a 3 is 1 fourth. Because there's one favorable outcome, spinning a 3, and there are four possible outcomes, 1, 2, 3, 4. And each outcome is equally likely. Since we found this probability without actually spinning the spinner, it's called the theoretical probability. In other words, in theory, there's a 1 in 4 chance that we'll spin a 3. We can also find the probability of a given event by conducting an experiment. This is called the experimental probability. For example, we can find the probability of spinning a 3 by actually spinning the spinner and recording the results. I made a spinner like the one on the board to conduct the experiment. So let's spin this spinner 10 times and record the results in the tallies column of our chart. 2, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, 3, and 1. Now, filling in the number of times column, we can see that we spun a 1 3 times. We spun a 2 2 times. We spun a 3 4 times and we spun a 4 one time. Finally, in the fraction of total column, we put the number of times we spun each number over the total number of spins, which was 10. So we have 3 over 10, 2 over 10, 4 over 10, and 1 over 10. Now we can see that the experimental probability of spinning a 3 was 4 tenths, because we spun a 3 4 times out of a total of 10 spins. Notice that 4 tenths reduces to 2 fifths. So the experimental probability of spinning a 3 was 2 fifths. 